This used to be Norio Kimura's home. Now it's a shrine to his wife, father and youngest daughter. They all died 10 years ago when a powerful earthquake and tsunami devastated this region. He still fears what will happen to this area, which he now believes is sacred ground. Long after authorities gave up, Norio Kimura kept searching for the remains of his seven-year-old daughter, Yuna. When reactors at the nearby Fukushima nuclear plant exploded, rescue teams couldn't continue combing this area because it was too dangerous. After almost six years of searching, he finally found a scarf and some of Yuna's remains. I wanted to find all of her remains, but I also started to think maybe she didn't die from the tsunami, that she died because of the nuclear plant explosion. I felt anger when I thought about that. This is his daughter's school. Ten years after the disaster, it's still standing, though its clock face is frozen at 2.48, just minutes after the quake struck. This is an important place of connection and one he's desperate to preserve. This is where I can feel she was alive. I want this place to be kept. It's the school closest to the plant and must be kept so people realise we're living in a world where nuclear disasters can happen and ask if it's worth the risk. But the future of the school and his daughter's resting place nearby is unclear because of dirt piling up from the decontamination process. Officials are clearing space to store 14 million cubic metres of it in these black bags over the next 20 years. It's supposed to be moved out of this prefecture, but so far, nobody wants to take it. I understand the frustration and distrust of residents very well. I also know that the final disposal is a very difficult task, but we've signed contracts with 2,000 people to make this interim storage site. I think we should definitely not forget about those people. Across the region, more than 2,000 people thought to have died in the tragedy have never been found. Norio Kimura's daughter Yuna was the last person in her town to be taken off the missing list. He wants to make sure she and thousands like her are never forgotten. Jake Sturmer, ABC News, Orkuma.